before. The only people uh, that know about this place is the people who have keys to it. You're not, no one's supposed to talk about it outside of the place itself. Don't talk about it with the boys, although Taco and Vinny are already involved. Randy will be brought in later, and then we'll probably end up having, well, we'll probably end up telling Mr. K just because it's Mr. K's family. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a, yeah, I have man, a confession. I know. I've already been fucking metagame that you already talked to Eddie about it. It wasn't even that. I, I, you told me Eddie talked about it. It wasn't even like talking about it, like talking about it. You know? It was just... Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, Hutch is going to show me that shit, and I'll, I'll see you there or some shit. Just like that, you know? Nah, you're good. You're good. Right. You're good. Yeah, just try you know and keep it to a minimum. Are. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you're good, man. Just try and... Here, Judd's calling me one second. What up, Judd? Find me the ops, oh, by the boy. way. That's All right, scratch that shit. Um, okay, go ahead and transfer it to me, and I can transfer it to someone else. Uh, PayPal 3... Or, uh, state ID 3655. Transfer it to me, and I'll have someone else scratch it for the garage. My number is 3655. Thank you. See ya. All right, sorry, that truck. So anytime you see anybody, don't drive down that road. Just do, you know, a couple fucking laps until you can, you know that no one's following you in. Like I said, this is the first ever underground business. Treat it like a warehouse. If anyone sees you coming in and out of here, fucking cut their head off and dump them into the ocean. All right. With that being said, my brother, welcome to the first ever underground racing warehouse. Oh shit, this looks dope. Yo, this looks yeah. fucking damn, bro. Like if you combine the both. Bro, this looks fucking sick. All these cars are Vin scratches that are already part of the catalog, other I mean, than some of these that are personally owned. Who owns the black one over there? Uh, yeah, and then you what's up? Yeah, that's that's a that's like, one of our oh, scratched man, vehicles. Car. That's oh, one of the shit, rare ones that we have. It's uh, it's, it's extremely rare to get this. Yeah. What the fuck? Let's go at the back. Well, my Turismo. Obviously, you know Orange. You know AP. These are two of our runners. Uh, you obviously know uh, yeah, yeah. Devil also. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, so these are these are all of our vehicles. Obviously, we have more in stock, and then we have people who are running out. If you ever want to get a contract, come to me. All of our runners who can get uh, any type of in scratches, and they, they can't scratch them themselves, you can just transfer me the contract. And if you need a contract, you can let me know, and then I can give it to you. Wait, so, uh, the wait, wait hold on. So like, if I need an A-plus contract, I can come to you and you can give me one? So say, say one of my boys, they get an A-plus contract, right? All Everyone's right. already maxed out on their boosts. Like they don't need this still climb and experience. So what they'll do is, is they'll come to me and say, hey, I got an A-plus Vin Scratch for this car and it's a really good one and I want it to be part of the shop. I say, okay, send it to me. For example, these boys just got me and sent me an M-plus contract for a Ninja ZX-10R, which is what we need for the shop. They can't scratch it. So say if you wanted to scratch it and put it under your name, so when people rent it out, you can make passive oh, income. Oh, I have a scratch up if you contract. want me to do it. I have a scratch up, I'm down. So, uh, come yeah, to my office, I'll explain everything to you. So, um, this door is going to get uh, closed and locked. You'll probably never come in here, uh, but I'm just going to kind of show you uh, everything just yeah. so you know how it works from Is behind it? the scenes. Um, All right, Hutch, if you need us, just call me. Yep, We're sounds good, boys. Race. I'll see yeah, you guys later. later. So if you come over here, you're going to be able to third eye this computer. Don't touch anything, but you can see it. Uh, there's going to be a G&E cap on your phone very soon, so people are going to have to start converting their G&E into USB drives, which are these sticks that you see right here. Um, just this time and this time only, go ahead and craft yourself a 10 G&E stick. How many options do you fuck? Yeah, just hit the 10 one. Okay. Alright, come on over here. Are, they, are there the different colors or they're all like a black USB? They're all black USB and they're all disposable. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead and go into your pockets. Yeah. Say that you're getting chased by the cops and you have a 10 G and E stick on you. Yeah. Go ahead and use that 10 G and E stick. So basically, whenever you use it, you're injecting that G and E back into your phone. And then you, all you have to do is roll down your window and toss the stick out the window. And then it's all gone. There's no trace of it. Oh, 
Until now, if the cops are coming after you, you there's no risk. The only risk that, that basically the city is applying to G&E is that you, you're going to have to start stockpiling it at a location. So, okay, so, so here's my you question. If you get raided, there's a way that it gets uh, taken. Dumb question. So what's the point of that then? What's the like uh, actual question? I'm not even like, what, so what was the Because what's... there is zero risk to owning an illegal currency called G&E right now in the city. And they're creating a risk for the reward. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. All right. That makes sense without yeah, yeah, going yeah. too Yeah, yeah, yeah. That make, no, that makes city. sense. Yeah. All right. Um, so, um, is so your what, bin scratch pretty fucked up right now? Uh, I think so. It was driving a little right. off. Let's, uh, let's go grab it really quick. Jump back in. Probably should have brought What's it. What's on that laptop? Side. So, that's going to be our app. So, our app is going to be like a Carvana. You're going to be able to go into your laptop. Wait, anybody can just to... walk in there and look at that laptop? Nope. Only people, well, right now with only people who have keys, but again, no one is allowed to go back there. And it's only people who, the only people who are part of our employment are people I have given keys to. No one else is allowed to it's, give it's keys It's like out. a company on your phone, I guess? Exactly. And I, I'm going to give you keys to the place. But again, okay, yeah, it's yeah. more of like, a, I, I need your yeah, yeah, word I hear that you. you're not going to go back there and just grab no, them. No, for sure, because, for sure. Uh, so what, example, what's the cap on the phone? It's going to be... For anywhere from 500 to 2500 GE is going to be the oh, cap very soon. Shit. So people are going to have to start converting their GE, which again, to be able to convert your GE just this one time, I'm going to give it to you at cost. But every 10 GE is one GE on top. So if you want a 10 GE, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to, you'll have so to give So 250 me 11 GE is really 275, a 250 exactly. stick. And that's what we do with that money because a lot of people are like, uh, here, just toss the keys, I'll drive it out of here. A lot of people are like, you know, you know, I'm working here. Why do I have to pay extra G and E? Well, well, what we do with that extra G and E is exactly what you just saw with the RS6. The boys call me, say, "Hey, I got a scratch." They'll say, "I'll say, okay, sounds good." I'll send them half the value of that scratch in G and E, and then they're also going to be able to rent that car out. So, say, you know, I have this M plus that I need someone to scratch, and you wanted to scratch it so that you could rent it out, which I would highly suggest you do that because bikes are going to be wait, rented wait, out probably more than anything yeah yeah i okay. think i'm going to do the ninja you want to do that we could i mean trauma can run I the can fucking boost yeah and i'll I can transfer it. it to you so the reason why you would want to do that right because it is an investment at the end of the day you are investing half the amount of the g and e into it right but you're going to be able to rent that under your name all of the boosts like if you have a car in the garage we're going to be able to track what car that you have in there and the more it gets rented is the more g and &E you're going to make passively. So right now you're about to only have to invest 188 g and &E into the car. But if that car gets rented out three times, you've already returned your uh, investment on the vehicle. Yeah. You can do that in a day. That works. And a bike is a very uh, low risk vehicle. Because again, who's you catching bikes nowadays? You can do rat shit, nowadays? honestly, yeah. Exactly. All right. So we're actually going to pull this over here. This so the, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and uh, third eye it. And you're going to re uh, general repair your vehicle. So this is the bennies that we have inside of the shop. You're able to come in here only allowed to be used when racing, going to a race or leaving a race. You cannot use this uh, before jobs, after jobs or for personal vehicles that you aren't going to race in at that exact moment. Even if you're like, oh, I'm going now, to race Now, later. this is just bodies. It's like a normal Benny's. Yeah. So now I want you to third eye it. Uh -huh. And I want you to repair degradation. And watch. And count the amount of time it takes you to repair this. I need speed. more genie sticks, it says. You um, have a 10 value on you right now? No, I gave, I used it, remember? All right. Yeah. Go ahead and make yourself another 10 one. It costs 10. Oh, is that, do I need more? Or is that, is that a? Nope. Just a 10 stick. That's all. Just make yourself one 10 stick. All right. And again, like this is probably going to be the only time you're ever making yourself the stick. Yeah, Go yeah. ahead and third eye it and repair degradation. Count how long it takes you to repair this thing. Fifteen Mississippi on the second. On the All dot. Right, you just repaired your car to ninety-seven percent. You just did a, an autos, a haze, or a harmony repair on your vehicle. What the fuck? So now if you're racing and you fuck up and you destroy your car and you don't want to have to go to Auto's Haze or uh, Harmony to wait, you can just come here, 
repair your car to 97%, head back out there and start racing again. Oh my God. But it costs G and E as opposed to. It money. costs G and E. But exactly. G and E is easier to get than actual money, right? So. Just finishing a race is 10 G and E. Yeah, exactly. So what's, um, you know, scratch, scratched vehicle, scrap, scratched vehicle or convert scratched vehicle? Okay. So. Whenever you go and boost, every car has value. Very soon, you're going to be able to scratch more vehicles than you can now. So, for example, if you scratch one vehicle, that's the only vehicle you're going to be allowed to scratch. Soon, you're going to be able to scratch one of each class. So, you're going to be able to scratch a B, an right, A, right. an A+, yeah, plus, yeah. and an M+, plus every tsunami. Yeah, yeah. So, the reason why you would want to do that is, is say you scratch 10 B pluses or uh -huh. B, sorry. Say wait, you wait, there's not going to be a limit anymore? Well, it's going to be one maybe I, i'm not sure i don't know the exact uh what they're going to do with that but i know it's going to be expanded what uh, a little yeah, bit yeah, more yeah. okay okay and the reason why is is because now we have a basically a chop shop inside of here so you're going to be able to scratch a b you're going to be able to bring it here and you're going to break that b down for parts you're going to give me the parts and we're going to start collecting parts so whenever you have an a plus vent scratch that you want to make your own you're going to be able to take those b's parts you're going to be able to convert them into A parts, and then you're going to be able to build your car from the ground up and make it your own without actually having to purchase the vehicle. Oh. So you're going to be able to take your car that you have that you just brought in here. You're going to be able to scratch. You're going to be able to uh, break down cars, and then you're going to be able to take those parts, and you're going to be able to put them into the vehicle. Like a blueprint vehicle. type shit. Exactly. Like uh, you ever play Fallout? Break down a gun, learn no. the gun, then you can build it yourself. Oh, so can I do that with this? Uh, so it's going to be extremely rare, and it's also going to take a fuck ton of parts. Yeah, like, what the enough fuck? parts that to where it's so going to cool. be almost more than the vehicle it's going to be valued at, anyways. But say a vehicle sold out of PDM, <laughs> this is how you're going to be able to make one. That is so, so fucking cool. And it's going to be cool. off the books. Okay. So there will be no paper trail. That is fucking cool. On top of that, I can now repair um, anything that is used within the racing scene. So if you, if say, you know, Vinny's not around to sell advanced lock picks and you need an advanced lock pick and all you have is one that's broken, you can give it to me. I have a bench and I can repair that lock pick for you. Same thing for a what hacking device, fuck? right? The number one price in the, in the racing scene or the boosting scene is a $40,000 hacking device. Yes, I can do radios right, here, also. Do a radio. He's not around. And I, I don't, don't want to uh, go down. I don't have the uh, the materials yet. That's something that we have to get materials from soon. Oh, uh, so I can't do it right now. But the biggest thing is, is that the hacking device that's forty thousand dollars, I can repair it and give it back to you for eleven grand instead of having to go and buy another one. Wait, wait, wait. And uh, a, what, what? What can you repair? You know the hacking device. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. forty thousand G and E. I can repair it and, and sell it back to you for eleven grand. So it's two hundred G and E, but yeah. Well, that 200 G&E, uh, we're setting... All right. It's 30 thing. grand. I get you. Yeah, what's the set price of G&E now? $200 per. What the so fuck? So the G&E price is going up in the city, and we're setting the price. And uh, everyone who is investing in G&E right now is going to make absolute and utter fucking bank. Good thing you're still getting me 100 G&E a pop. I only have 300 G&E, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> be able to take care of you. I'll give you G&E for, uh, for this scratch also. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Okay, but, so let's um, get, uh, bro, this is so fucking cool, man. So yeah, so all of these cars, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to scratch a vehicle. You're going to come here. You're going to be able to uh, go right here and go ahead and flex your F1 muscle. This is the vehicle garage right here. I don't have access to You're going to come yeah. here. Yeah. You're going to bring your car here. You're going to put it in this garage, and then you're going to transfer me the vehicle into my name so I can put it into the books and rent out your car. If someone rents out your vehicle, no one is allowed here. And again, I'm going to stress this one more time. No one is allowed here unless they already know about it from my mouth or they have keys to this place. Yep. Never can you bring anyone plus no, for one, sure. period. This is only a you thing. And no, don't 100%. even drop people off in like anywhere near yeah, here. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, like, a, hey, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, leave, yeah. Come here and then go back there. Yeah. Um, say someone wants to rent a car out, right? Chody's going to be one of the runners for us. So Chody's going to dress up in all black. He's going to come here. He's going to pull the vehicle out. He's going to drive to a disclosed location. They're going to meet him there. He's going to give them keys. They're going to give him the G&E or they're going to, you know, the app will take the G&E. And then they're going to drive that car or the rest of the tsunami. When they want to return the car, they're going to meet Chody again at a disclosed location. They're going to give the car back to him. He's going to drive it here and he's going to put it back in the garage. All right. And then so they're repairing it's everything. Treated like drug deals as you yeah, know, yeah. or gun deals or whatever. Um, That's so fucking dope. That, building, renting, buying. And on top of all of that, there's also going to be a chat room. It's going to be called the Silk Road within the app. 
You're going to be able to go onto the Silk Road. You're going to see people who are signed in as a driver and people who are signed in as a hacker. So at any given time, oh, no matter so what you tsunami somebody. you're in, you can click on our app. You can go to the Silk Road and you're going to be able to see who's signed in as a hacker or Shit, as a driver. I'll, have, be uh, I'll be signed on as drops. hacking for anybody who needs one. Exactly. So you're not only going to be getting passive GE from that, but you're also going to be able to get, uh, say you get fucked and you get caught during a boost, you're going to be able to get it right back up. Very it's like fast a boosting Tinder. Look at. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Swipe left, swipe right, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot, actually. That's going to be fucking. Bro, I'm, you know how a hell of people are going to be calling me to hack for them. I'm yeah, fucking yeah, excited for I'm that saying. shit. It's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of money involved. That's cool. Uh, how, many, uh, how many sticks do you want? Uh, as of now, I only have 300 G and E, so I don't. I mean, what do, what do I need the sticks for right now? To repair your car, if you want to repair it in um, full. Now, I mean, we just did it, right? So. Yeah, exactly. If you need a stick, just call yeah, me. I'll and I'll, uh, I'll make it for you. Can I check out the app? Is, can I look at it? Uh, it's bare. I mean, go ahead. You can go. Ahead. You won't uh, be able to access this. Like I said, this door is gonna get locked, so sure. you can go ahead and look at it. But it's just the foundation. It's just like the the main. Uh, you know, um, that's what it's gonna look like. Let me guess. Hutch and Auto. Hutch and Auto no, exploding? no, the uh, yeah, you, our uh, the name of our company is Ho. <laughs> oh, so it's just it's just a, like a laptop right now, nothing. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. bare. That's just the background. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what's your state ID? Uh, ten forty three. Bro, fuck yeah! I'm happy for you, Hutch. Finally, bro. Getting shown some that, love, bro. bro. I appreciate that, dude. About fucking so I'm time. gonna put you as uh, our front for the company. If a cop ever asks you when you're arrested on what the company, what this company is, although they have no right to, it's a exporting and importing material business. We're actually gonna be taking on Vinny and his idea of importing and exporting materials. And instead of him getting that blue whatever the fuck he was getting, he's gonna run it out of this place also. Okay. So there's a there's gonna be and we're also gonna hopefully get Randy and the Dodo Logistics and people are gonna be able to do drop offs here and they're gonna be importing and exporting drop offs of materials outside Fuck of yeah. this establishment. Bro, so you know you try and get for all the businesses well? for uh, Flippy as well. Flippy and Vinny. They, they... Flippy, Flippy and Randy are the last two people to be that are being brought in. So you can go ahead and take a look at the, yeah, uh, the, the list, list and yeah. see how fucking loaded we are. We have yeah, this is like a... AP. We have Orange. We have Goofy. We have Charles. Um, Tacos on here. We have These Mary. Are all we have people Eddie. Too. They're not like fucking randos, you know. Exactly. The only people that we have that aren't core racers is Fiona, and Fiona races probably more than you do. Yeah, and then we yeah. have Judd, but Judd is on there because he's an A plus booster and he's Charles plus one. He's the only plus one within the entire company. You sure about Judd, man? <laughs> so I had a conversation with Judd, and it was literally Judd, if you do anything and you fuck me over, I'm literally never going to ever forgive you. And he was like, listen, I this isn't something I'll fuck around with. Judd's the same thing as me. He's an idiot, but he'll take shit serious. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck. Once again, Hutch, congrats. This is so cool, bro. Yeah. So um, do you want to rent this vehicle out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, so you tell me. Well, well, I, right, I don't really have a purpose and, uh, for this vehicle. I have. Yeah, I already have enough a, plus, a cars. Yeah. Transfer so how much do you need am I getting for this? Or, like, uh, so are you... All right, so so right now, yeah. so basically, right now, all you're going to do is you're going to transfer me the car. You're going to sell it to me for one dollar. The company's going to be coming out here uh, on the app here in the next day, day and a half. So once your car is, uh, once the, the app comes out, I'm going to be here for about probably five hours, and I'm going to call you, and we're going to basically come up with a price that you want to set your car at. If so, here's my thing for you. Car, let, me, let me interrupt you. So here's my thing. Yeah. I could either choose to rent it, or if you want, if you have a or, fuck ton of genie, you could just buy it off me and rent it yourself. Up to you. Okay, so yes and no. We're more of like a, a middleman. We're not going to do a lot of like, I want to buy your car, and then I'm going to do it myself. I'm more of like, hey, you have Everybody your just car, make money. and I'm going to... Exactly. Because again, I'm not... You know me. I'm not trying to make a billion dollars. I'm just yeah. trying to take care of the people who are in it for the right reasons. What's your state so, ID? Yeah, so, uh, 3655. So you're going to give me this vehicle. I'm going to have it in the garage. When someone wants to rent it, it's going to be 50 G and E. On top of that 50 G and E, we're going to take probably like a couple percent. We'll probably take two or three G and E from the rent. You'll get 47 G and E or 43 or 46 G and E. And that's going to be sent straight to your PayPal or straight yeah, to your, your you know, phone. Or you're going to be yeah, getting I just paid. Tried it, by the way. I don't know. You got to accept it. Yeah. And so you'll be waking up some days, and I'll have 150 G and E. Just here you go. This is what your car. Dude, I don't need to be today. in the city for you to even send it over. Nope. 
it's all gonna be in sticks, so you're gonna be able to. So come if up I want to race this, I can week. just take it out, right? Because it's my car. Exactly. It's technically in my car, right? So I can just go exactly. to the garage here. So then... while it's while it's in the catalog, at any point in time, you can go ahead and look, and it's gonna be in the shared garage. You can pull it out, and you can go and race it. So like, say, Even, oh fuck, so there's an A plus race going on. Uh, hot, uh, the cars over here. I could just come here, take it out, and go race it. And then if I want to repair it through here, I can repair it here because there's gonna be a race exactly. going on. Exactly. So I just took it out, but now it's not here. So where do I go? You know how sometimes uh, this comes out. It probably poof, so you're probably just gonna be able to just, you know. What? No, it'll be teleported somewhere around the area. It's the first time this has happened, so we'll see. The best way to uh, activate this, by the way, is to open it and then close it while it's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have. It's for the same thing as the gallery. Um, try not to let anybody see you running around. Yeah. I don't know where this car. This seems shit happens with the gallery sometimes, bro. Let me track it actually. Okay. That's a pretty good spot for it to poop to. It's yeah, you just gotta park. So when that happens to some other people's cars, you know where to go. Yeah, exactly. Just park it and then take it back out again. So you fixed. can only ever enter and exit through that ramp right there to the right. Never go through the gate because we want to, you know, not have anyone seeing us leave. We're yeah, getting yeah. all the walls around this place raised, so it's gonna be a lot more. Uh, in, you know, people aren't gonna just be able to look in, and we're also gonna get a padlock on the gate outside. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Burr. Okay. A padlock. Oh, um, okay, I see what you're saying. So no one's going to be able to unlock or lock that gate besides myself, Otto, and Milo, or employees. Still says but yeah, out. like I said, now, again, this is only for your car. You can't come here and just take out anyone's car and go drive it around. No, no, I, so, I, yeah, of course, bro. Like, for example, Eddie just wanted to come and drive the Felter, so he paid... Um, he rented, yeah, he told me he rented it off of yeah, AP, exactly. right? Yeah. Give me a sec. It still says it's out. Let me roll back over there. No, no, I just put it in. It should be over here. Nah, it still says it's out. Maybe it's not my personal, right? No, it's right here. I got it. The fuck? Let me try parking it. Yep, go ahead. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. So, yeah. Let's keep his out so you then. Can take, you can take your own car out whenever you want. If you want to rent someone else's, you can just talk to me and I can uh, rent it out so, to uh, you or whatever. What's a good rental price for this 8F drafter? It's going to be 50 g &E. Uh, so, so now you'll right, make a passive, you'll make a passive 46 G and E every single so time. Let's, someone let's set a price for people who want to, uh, if they get fucked on it, how much? So Eight, again, let's do like 800. Well, no. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to like, say you come up to me, you got to realize too. I don't know if you know this scratch value or scratch, uh, they got dropped in prices. So now if you want to scratch an A plus, it's not going to be nearly as much. So oh, if you really? scratch this for twice as much as what it's already is, you're probably going to have to value it a little less. Like for example, AP has so, you know this scratch over here that it cost him around 700 G and E to scratch, which is a super rare scratch. He's gonna have to come down on that price. So I have a question. No let me let me so let me uh this, what's the rental on this? They're all 50. Well, so the, our rare ones, which is this one, is going to be higher. I think the drafters this is rare too, right? Extremely rare one. Um, it's rare, but not super rare. This one is like, you know, only like one or two people in the city got this, and they're it's like not the GTR around. or whatever, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, um, what? Uh, so, uh, to be honest with you, fuck renting yet. Yeah, I'd rather just fucking like blueprint it type shit and like be able to just craft more than you don't know, like build them from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, well, so I'd rather do that be... with the drafter. Okay, so if that's the case, if you don't want to like have it rented, or if you want to set like a bonkers price in the in the catalog, we can do that too. Say you have a car and you just want to sell it, I can put it as a, a a sell price that is outrageous. So at least if someone is buying it, you're making you know more money on it. So, so you don't take you don't have to take the risk. Do you uh well selling as in what? Like I thought we can break that down, right? Eventually you said you can, we can. We break can, that. yeah. If you want to do that too, then I would I would probably have be transfer it back to you and keep it in your own garage and not store it here uh well we, we can rent it for now and then come time when that you know when you have that exactly. feature then we'll just do it you know exactly you should you yeah. know what you should do you should do this shit by the way and like uh like just put like in front of them like the um like you could do like this or something right what do you mean like that so people could no, just walk so no one no one's going to be coming in here this is just a warehouse where we're storing. Everything is going to be on purchased, bought, and looked at on the app. That is uh, on, it's yeah, going to be yeah, on the right, laptop. Right, right, right. We're going to be the very first app on the laptop. 
That's gonna be like another thing below uh, Benny's parts or whatever, right? Exactly, which is what you just saw on the computer behind. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. this okay. is is for storage. So yeah. you're gonna be able to come in here and, and be able to uh, pull your car out, or our runners are gonna be able to come in here, grab the cars, and then go and run them to the people who hell just, yeah, uh, hell yeah, who just rented it. This is a good hub uh, as well. When the tuner shop comes out, you guys can work hand to hand as well. And that's why I told him. I said, this is like, uh, you know, tuner shop when it gets hot, just like how it got back in the old city when cops are lurking around it being some weird shit. They can just come here. Uh, yeah. You know, people who work for me can just come here instead of the tuner shop. Or if Mary or Eddie don't want to get bugged and ask for a car every five seconds while they're at the tuner shop, they can just come here and stay away from people. I like but how yeah, a lot Eddie, of people are going to know about this one. No one's going to know about this unless I unless they're hired for the company and they're working for me. The, they're not going to know about this whatsoever. Hmm. So it's it's super cool, man. Super under the radar. Um, and it's it's again, probably the the it's the first underground business in the city. With yeah, it's true cool. Fucking uh, true know. meeting, you know? Yeah, exactly. You want to um, you want to uh, yeah, let me transfer over that M contract. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll do it with Chow while we can run it. Yeah, perfect. Um, what is? I also have an A. I need scratched. I can scratch that later. Um, what is your say ID again? Ten forty-three. Give me a sec. I'm gonna go. Um, you know, grab a bottle of water from your office real quick. Yep, you're all good. Chad, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. All right. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, Hutch, I'm back. Also, two more things. Yeah. Last two things, I swear. I know there's a lot. I no, I, I comprehend it all, is... to be honest with you. All right, cool. So only your cars can be brought in here. Um, if one of the boys are like, hey, can you repair my car really yeah, quick? Yeah, no, no, I already place, know. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, the last thing, and probably one of the coolest things that I forgot to tell you, so say you get an A scratch, like for example, we're gonna probably after you scratch the M plus, we're gonna go ahead and scratch this A A regular A, which is the Dominator GTX, right? It's a pretty sought after vehicle in the city. So, say you get the A's. The reason why you want to scratch A's also is because at some point you're gonna be able to take that A plus, you're gonna bring it in here. Because you're going to be breaking down parts, instead of building cars, which is going to take a lot of parts, we can take those parts, we can craft the parts together and make them uh, upgrades, and then we can upgrade a vehicle inside of here for no g &E cost, but it's going to have to be maintained by the company. So, for example, if I have a regular B and I want to race B+, plus, if I – we'll use this car, for example, right here. So once I start breaking down a bunch of B classes and C classes, I'm going to be able to take those parts, convert them into upgrades, and put them into this car. So I can now scratch Bs and be able to turn them into B pluses at the shop for people to rent. Okay. So I hear you. Uh, all cars have value. Very soon you're going to be able to scratch more than just one per week of all uh, classes. I believe hopefully that's going to happen sooner than later. Yeah. And then you're going to be able to just, whenever you get a good quality car that you look at and you're like, damn, someone would definitely want to drive this, just go ahead and scratch it and you can put it part of your portfolio in the catalog. The best you know thing I should can do? tell you is, is that you need to get as many cars in here as possible because that you're going to make fucking stupid amounts of money uh, with the more cars that you have hey, in here. Can I get a 10 t yeah, uh, transfer me 11 G&E to, uh, yeah, just send me 11 G&E. Sure. 
You know what you could do as well? I'll put it in your truck. All right, thanks. You could work out a deal with the tuner shop that when S plus contracts get put out, and you can you can uh, and breaking them down, and then you can help stock the tuner shop for those who are looking at cars and shit. You know. Well, so we're gonna we'll probably end up staying away from that, especially because uh, again, we're here to kind of help maintain and not. Because yeah. the last thing I want people to do is is not get cars and say, oh, I'm just gonna go and get one. Because mm -hmm. you got to remember. You're gonna have to break that car down, yeah. and it's gonna be taking. It's gonna take more parts to create it than it would just to buy it. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. not even worth it majority of the time. Yeah. I like the ship. Oh. This is cool. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about like, say, for example, Randy, Flippy, and someone else buys your favorite car. Well, guess what? If that car comes on a boost and you get that and you scratch it, you're gonna be able to take that car at some point and create it to be your own also. But again, it's super rare and it takes a lot of parts, so it's going to be extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. I'm excited expensive. to see how that works out. To be honest with you. Yeah, it's going to be extremely expensive, but it's also going to be possible. So, so is that are no longer. Which one? The Audi. Uh, no, that's a personally owned one. That is uh, AP's. Oh, this is the Vince Scratch one. The Audi R6 is talking about. Right? Every other car in here is Vince Scratch, other than uh, my. Hell yeah! All right. Um, can you send me, um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm short GNE to Vince scratch this thing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. How much GNE do you need to Vince scratch it? Um, I have 299 and I need 408. So, whatever that math is. 110, 20, 110. All right, check and see how much you have now. Boom. There yep. you go. Got it. And just like that, that's and that's what you get, you know, for helping out the company, right? You're building your own portfolio, but the company's also investing in your scratches. So you're helping us and we're helping you. Yeah. Because we're going to make money passively on your guys' rents, but in the same time, you're going to be making more money than the company because you, if you have a good portfolio with cars that are actually sought after, like this, I guarantee will be rented every single fucking tsunami. Your bike, yeah, I, I guarantee, know. will be rented Those every single tsunami. Those are two hot tsunami. commodities, if, uh, so in, now, in my opinion, you're bro. you're already making basically 100 G and E a tsunami that easy. But the once again, if they here, lose the this thing, builds. then they have to pay the whole genie up front, then they right? have to pay the entire cost. And how much is this for itself. the 8th drafter? So we can set the price. Uh, I think a good price for the 8th drafter would be 625 So I paid 455 for this. So the reason why we put 625 is because, again, you got to remember, Let's do A plus Vince scratches... Okay. A plus Vince scratches are going down in value. I think 650 is a good price. All right, 650 uh, And we could do that. And then the, the the bike, what? What's the bike that? What do you have bikes? So oh, if it's a 400 uh, G and E scratch, we'll probably do the same price. 650 G and E for the bike. All right. Yeah. If they fucking lose a bike, Vince scratch, then they're honestly shouldn't be meant to fucking get. If you lose, exactly. if you have a like, bro, you're fucking dumb then, you know? It's hard to lose a Vince scratch. If you're connected yeah. within the scene, the, the most Vince scratches we're probably going to lose is in the AU tsunami. Yeah, true. And that's whenever we're going to, you know, have to. Do you have people uh, appointed people for per tsunami? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we're going to. Uh, right now, within the AU tsunami, that's our runner there is going to be Chody. We're also probably going to have Flippy, who's going to be around that tsunami, but I know his cousin's around sometimes. So that's going to be a tsunami where we're going to have to fill. This tsunami is covered by myself. The tsunami before this is covered by Marlo. And Otto is also at the very back end tsunami and the AU tsunami too now, so he's going to be able to do the stuff then also. But we're going to try right. and push. We want people to buy sticks at a large a large amount, so they're not you know like Mary just came in here and just bought one stick. People are going to have to start buying like four or five sticks because I'm not going to be around to craft them. For yeah, you true. All the time. So, uh, all right. Yeah, that's where we're Perfect. at. Perfect. All right, let me hit up Chawa and then uh, let's do this. We can do this boost.